monkeys that took the combo therapy. They took semaglutide, they took trivagramab, and they took goretismab. And goretismab is the active and A inhibitor. So now we got mastatin inhibitor in the works and active and A. Those monkeys lost 1,400-ish grams of fat, a little bit more, notably more, than the monkeys that were just on the myostatin inhibitor, then group three, but not a ton more. But check this out. Those monkeys didn't lose 15 grams of fat. Sorry, good God. Those monkeys didn't lose 15 grams of muscle like the drug-free monkeys did or like the myostatin monkeys did. They didn't lose 100 grams of muscle like the semaglutide monkeys did. They gained on a deficit, by the way. Monkeys don't resistance train, by the way. They gained 450 or so grams of muscle during the course of this diet, which was 20 weeks long, by the way. So we're going from dieting drug-free, you lose a little bit of muscle, almost not at all, but you don't lose a whole lot of fat. To dieting with semaglutide, we use a lot more fat, but a substantial amount of muscle, nothing crazy, but that's annoying. To adding in the myostatin inhibitor, trivagramab, and all of a sudden, you are going to lose almost no muscle, just a little bit of muscle loss, but you are losing almost double the amount of fat that you did with the semaglutide and close to just actually over three times the amount of fat that you did drug-free. And in the combo therapy, the triple therapy, semaglutide, trivagramab, and gretismab, we got the GLP-1, we've got the myostatin inhibitor, and we have got the active and A inhibitor, all combined into one, into one vehicle, into one drug, you're losing even more fat than you did with just myostatin by a little bit. 